Hey guys, it's future me right here, and this is me realizing that I kind of messed up the audio. So, this was not supposed to happen, so this is me doing my intro. Hey, what's going on guys, Zen and PvP here, and today I am going to be showing you how you can get a lot of money on the Grand Theft MCPE server. Now, all you have to do is basically buy a house for a low, low price and then sell it for a much higher price than what you got. This video will show you how to do it and I guess I'm just going to commentary over the video because I severely messed up. I'm sorry and I'll try to make it not happen again, but iMovie is weird. It can work and it can't work. So while you're here, Subscribe if you want to see more of this, like the video, leave a thumbs up. Helps me know that you want to see this type of content. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. So right now, this is the house that I had purchased to do this. I had bought it for $100,000 thanks to the help of Dr. Boom, one of my friends. Um, who does have a YouTube channel. And that guy right over there is one of the people I am team with, but I didn't I didn't see his name tag and I didn't know, so I thought he was going to kill me. So I'm looking around a lot in this video. The audio still works, but just my voice doesn't, as you can see here. So, basically, I drive this guy off. He goes away because he realizes I'm team. And then, scoot, scoot, we're back into the video. So I ask him politely to go away. He does. A little cautious now that I know he's here. But, still. So, make sure he's going away. Okay, so, this is the house that I had purchased. 100k. And then I sell it for 350k to make a $250 profit. $250,000 profit. Which it's not easy to get $100,000 in this server. This is me just looking around because I don't feel like he's left. And I think he's going to come and kill me. So I am super cautious of this guy because I know that he could come back and kill me. Because at this point in time, I didn't realize that I was team with him. I thought he was just going to team, leave, come back, and then, like, nade me. So right here is me explaining why. Because on August 17th, all the houses of people who have not joined the server... Um, at all, are going to be, um, they're all going to be taken away, they're all going to be put up for a random price for other people to buy. And now those people who own the houses, after other people to come and buy them, they're going to have to, at least one is going to see this house, he's going to double tap that sign, and he's going to buy that house, and I'm going to make $350 dollars. Which I bought it for $100,000, so that's $250,000 profit right there. And then you just keep doing that with higher and higher up houses. So you make more money, you buy a larger house, you make even more money up until you get the house you want to keep. And that's one of the glitches. If you sit in the chair and then you stand back up, you can pop through, which is a very nice exit tactic. So it was around this point that I noticed this guy was team and I knew he wouldn't kill me because I went to go see what he was doing and then I not then I noticed his name tag only then and then I saw a skin. So I knew he was team so I wasn't that paranoid anymore. So this is me just explaining that this was basically the end of the video, but I was just gonna showcase the server because I might as well showcase it and do a gameplay for y'all because it's a really fun server and guys I'm going to try to have this not happen again but you never know with iMovie because volume could work or it could not work I don't know 
but I need to upload the video to here so I can edit it and then take it out and upload it to YouTube. So you might see reaction videos kind of to my own video. Now I don't even remember what I'm doing. Okay. So this is basically the end of the video. Now I'm going around to showcase the server and to do a gameplay for it all. Then he apparently wanted to show me something and I thought he was still going to kill me. So I just left and said, yep, you do that, buddy. And I left him. So right now I am... F I'm saying if anybody here wants to buy that house, it's um, land move 250 or 256 and it's 350k. So right now I am flying across the dam so I can get to the warp and now I'm saying I can clickbait the title how I want because I can. Okay. So now I am flying to one of the warps over here. So this is, as soon as I get to it, this is the warp dam, so you will spawn here. And I'm saying if you go to the left, it'll take you closer, but what you want to do, well, hop here, hop down to the tree, hop down to that little plant, and then hop down to the ground. That's the fastest way to get off it. So I'm going to kill that player over there, but this is the warp food store, and this is the warp theater. I still really don't know why they're two separate warps because they're really close together. At this point, I just want to kill him for the gameplay. Plus, I need to kill this to become a murderer. So there we go. I'm wanted level one. I never pointed out the bar up there. Um, it tells you who's most wanted, who the best cop is, what your wanted level is, how many deaths you have, and how many kills you have. Now, I say this is the road to Narnia, my friends, because it is. That bridge will take you straight over to Groove Street and the bank, which is exactly where all the action happens. So right now I'm just trying to eat and figure out where the gunshots are coming from, which is coming from over there. Right there. So right to the left of your screen, right there, right to the left of the screen is Groove Street. Right here, right here is Groove Street, and then... Um, that's the glitch where they still have armor on, but if they shoot something, their armor disappears, but it still protects them. And right there where all those people are, that's Warp Bank. So Bank and Groove Street, since they're connected, everybody warps to those two places, and that's where most of the action happens and where most of the fighting happens. There is one warp I left out, and it's um, Warp Gas Station, but rarely anybody warps there. So that house right there belongs to Cloudy, that big old house. Um, this right here is warp um, land move 145, which brings you to the top of the top of the bridge. This house that he's, that's right behind him is Cloudy's house, and it's land move 444. And that giant stone brick building with the orange top is um, land move 395, which those are all very super helpful. That is Cloudy. She's basically um, one of the biggest people on the server. Everybody knows her. She's always like the most wanted or something. Right now she's Capo with 202 kills, which is amazing. Um, here I'm explaining, people will sell you stuff, and you can sell to people stuff, but I'm warning you that, um, scamming is allowed on this server. Now you can, it's a really great server, you can come on, play with your friends, it has its own Discord, so you can talk with your friends, and that's pretty much the whole server. You get gun, and it, oh, also, in the video, I'm explaining right now, that if you do slash vote, you can do um another command which is slash cop it gives you um a police officer rank and then if they go down the murderer path so if they're criminal murderer capo underboss or um mafia boss you can kill them but if you kill an innocent um you lose your job and you lose 10 percent of your money and you get a frowny face
<laughs> in the chat. So here I'm explaining the gun, the best one of the best guns, even though it's very loud, is the shotgun. Shotgun will take somebody out in two minutes. Nades will take somebody out in one hit, and a rocket launcher will take anybody out in one hit. But you have to hit them directly, or like just barely miss them. But they're very OP, you really need to watch out for them, otherwise you will die instantly. So right here I'm just doing my outro and saying goodbye to y'all because it's been a great video. Love y'all, thank you for supporting. Right now, I am explaining the ranks and how it goes. It goes, if you go down the criminal way, it goes townsman, criminal, gangster, capo, underboss, and mafia boss. Which, mafia boss is by far the hardest one to get, which you need 151 kills to get. Um... Underboss, you need like 101 kills. Um, Capo is like 51. Gangster is 21. And then Murder is just 1. So it's a really fun server. I do not know how the police officer system works. That's Chaos, the guy who I thought was going to kill me. And yeah, that's basically the whole video, guys. So... Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. I just hit 10 subscribers. I just checked my channel. Thank you all so much for subscribing. I never could have done this without you. I love you. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want more of this. That lets me know you want this kind of content. And, well, I'm just going to let the gameplay run in the background. I'm out. Goodbye.